everybody get out of the hot tub. Let's start getting our ducks in a row, start getting dressed. What time's dinner? Now, Jesse Sullivan, let's go. Literally in a boot. Literally in a boot, okay. I think this is beautiful. You do? Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe we actually like pulled this off. Yeah. Same. Yeah, this is a beautiful gravy. I just so proud of us. Where are these heathens at? Y'all better come on. Because we did not cook for y'all to take your time. Wes, I know I saw you. Kyle? Kyle! No, Kyle's curling his hair. These boys. What I'm trying to do is find my goddamn phone. Ooh, look good. This is sweet. Where'd you get that? Mr. Porter. Looking good. You will get touched a lot. <laughs> my boys and girls. No problem. Nice. Yes. Where is Kyle? Kyle! I'm coming! Dinner's getting cold! Coming! Oh, jeez, you're literally waiting. OK, sorry. Yeah, we care about you and stuff, Kyle. Um, oh. Cheers to Sierra and I, yeah. to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> cheers to Sierra and Lindsay. Cheers! Thank you guys. Not to toot my own horn, but it's a pretty good sounding horn. We worked very well in the kitchen together. We actually do work very well together in the kitchen. On the menu, we have deviled eggs, country fried steak, Ooh. we have mashed potatoes, and we have southern green beans for dessert. We have pineapple upside down cake. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Sierra. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. OK, let's share one good thing about our week. Oh, OK. Mm. I'll go first. Kyle left. <laughs> okay. Damn. I didn't get to see Kyle. That was the worst part of my week. Jesse, how many days did you go on this week? Yeah, I want to know about the NYC game. Three and a half. What the hell's a half? A half is like cooked dinner at my apartment. Well, that's, that's a like a one and a half. That's one like half. actually more than a date. OK, so I think we need to clarify this. Not how many days did you go on. How many different women did you go on dates with this week? Four would be the proper number. Oh my how did you go on? Where did you find the time? Yeah. It's a full-time job. <laughs> Do you want to commit? I would commit to the right girl, for sure. Jesse, what exactly are you looking for in a girl? If you could give me just your top three things that you're like, must have, outside of look. I would say she's smart. Thanks. I want her to care about things in the world that are going on. OK, that was two. Third. It's organized. Organized. Like, That's an interesting organized. one. Just what does like, that mean? I, like, I'm good at big space. decisions, but I hate making a bunch of little decisions all day. Like, uh, sure, I'll pick the place, but you just order for us. Like, oh, I don't no, care. I'll eat I don't anything. Like that. I, I kind of want the guy to order. Yeah. Interesting. So, so let me ask you, now that you know that Paige doesn't want to do the ordering, do you want to rethink how hard you were hitting on her the I first just... couple of weekends? <laughs> All right, let's air that out. Was I hitting on Paige the first two weeks? She's a pretty girl. I would, too. Thank yeah. You, you don't want to date someone that Thank wouldn't get you. hit on. I thought I would just, I thought it'd be a funny way to break the ice. <laughs> Hilarious. I asked Jesse, who's your type? And he's like, probably Paige. Why would you do that? The way that I'm going to murder you in your sleep tonight, That's you have bad. no idea. I mean, what's it's coming funny. For you. Will you relax? All right, so. You're like, um... wound up like a ball of yarn. What is your problem? <laughs> You're okay. Dude, you've been giving me nonstop shit ever since I was in the house, aside from that one kiss you gave me. Okay, I'm gonna go get changed to go out. Uh, I'm gonna see what you're wearing. Okay. I'm so pissed at Kyle right now. Come on. I need just a second. Oh. All that shit was happening, I was like. I know you've never been so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. You didn't know what to do with yourself. <laughs> you yeah. guys are just like, let's think of the most absurd thing that we can say to someone and just go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what our dinners are. Kyle clearly does not think before he speaks. Just like put some thought behind your words and don't just say things. You don't always have to say something. Use those little ears, Kyle. Shut your big mouth. OK, I'm going to change. Why do you think Amanda reacted the way she did? What the hell? <clears throat> I feel like she's just looking for reasons that give me a hard time. I mean, bro, it was a little outrageous. 
call me out in front of her boyfriend. But like, I love you. <laughs> and it was funny. Oh, I'm sad that I blew it on my first outfit. I like the shirt, you I think. blew it, it on your first outfit. Red's not my color. It's not a lot of white people's color. And then uh, when you get the giggles, you turn bright, uh, bright, oh my God. bright, bright red. Mm. You want a cuddle? You want a little cuddle? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Why did you bring that dressy shit up at dinner? The heck? Why did you say that at dinner? Because now everyone's talking about how up it is that you called him out and it's so embarrassing that you do that. Amanda, what is your problem? I'm pissed. Like, you look like an asshole. Why are you so worked up? Because it's up to do. Amanda. No, I'm mad. I'm so mad. I don't even want to go out what right now. What the is your problem? There's so much more important that you should actually give a about, but you're going to care about this that's actually comical. Like, have some respect for people. Have some respect yes. for people? Oh my God. Okay. Well, you're I literally don't... in, I don't even know what world, but. Oh my God. I just like, I can't do this with him. Chicken, Kyle and Amanda are screaming at each other Where? in the kitchen. She went after him about the Jesse stuff, and then he goes, What the? Is your problem. Surface level, I think Amanda's mad because she's like sick of Kyle running his mouth, saying whatever he wants, thinking it's funny. But I think there's like a deeper level where she's mad about shit he said about her a couple weeks ago. I don't feel like our partnership is like fully functioning. The thought of adding kids into that mix scares the shit out of me. And that's what worries me about our future. And I think she's just kind of like fed up. Are you okay? Yeah. Is it Kyle? Yeah, of course it is.